Hello, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the different types of leather that Doc Martens offer. I'm just gonna go through the best sellers on their website and probably the top five frequent ones. I'm gonna be talking about that. And at the end, I'm gonna just go over which ones are the easiest to break into and the hardest to break into. So if you get a pair, you're kinda aware of what you're getting yourself into. So let's begin. The first type of leather is the smooth leather. The smooth leather is Doc Martens like iconic leather. This is what Doc Martens are like known for, like selling Doc Martens leather. And with this, their leather is stiff, but eventually, meaning that the more you wear it, the boots will just mold into your feet and they would become so comfortable. In general, Doc Martens are easy to take care of. Just make sure you shine them every now and again. And also, they're not waterproof, they're water resistant, meaning that if you get splashed with water, your feet will stay dry. The vegan leather is a synthetic leather, meaning that it's not actual leather. So that means that no animals will harm in the making of these boots or shoes, which is a good thing. But another thing is that these are a little bit more water resistant than let's say the original or the the smooth leather just because it's not leather it's like a alternative or healthy leather so it's a little bit more water resistant but on the flip side some people did say that these can be not as breathable as the actual leather boots the napper and virginia leather these two are very similar they've both been tanned and treated to feel like a smooth leather when it comes to the virginia leather they also are dyed so usually whenever you see doc martens that are colored usually they use the virginia leather they're also not that hard to break into at first fit they're they can be very comfortable unlike the smooth leather the patent leather these are the shiny doc martin boots like any of the shiny ones they're patent leather they look good they can shine from a distance and all of that so with this they are water resistant just like every other doc martens and the good thing with this is they're a little bit easier to clean. You don't need to put too much. You can just wipe it with a damp cloth and you're good to go. Another thing is that they are a little bit stiff, so they're not as easy to break into, but eventually you can break into them. The Crazy Horse Leather. The Crazy Horse Leather is a tan leather that just give this duress look after you put them on. Literally, the best that or I, I don't want to say the best but literally they will never look the same once you take them out the box simply being if anything scratches on that leather you're going to see it and for me personally i enjoy when i can look down at my boots it just looks different like the duress marks and all of the scratching it just gives my boots character and i enjoy it like that some people don't and if you don't you can shine it or you can use the balsamic but the only thing with this leather is once you use that balsamic on there to treat it and stuff like that, it becomes darker. So that's just something to think about. So that's like the top five best-selling Doc Martin boots out there. Now the verdict is what's the easiest one to break into? If you want to put on some Doc Martens and feel comfortable in them immediately, I would say the vegan leather. It's not actual leather, so it's a little bit easier to break into. On the other side of the spectrum, the smooth leather. That one, you're really gonna have to put some work into. I mean, they look nice, they're good, they're definitely gonna last super long, but you have to go through the process. And some people, they're up for it, others are not. Hopefully you like this video. Comment down your experience with your docs. What's your favorite doc? 